Hi, back again with another video, uh, this time about acoustic guitars, not bass guitars. Now, if you've seen my other videos, you may have seen this on there, which is my Yamaha, my old baby. It's a FG400A. I've had this since 1993, bought with a tax rebate when I was 24 years old. Um, so I've had this over half my life and it sounds awesome. Not worth much money, but I'd never sell it anyway because it's just got great sentimental value. Sounds beautiful, plays so well. You know, the, the wood has aged now to the point where it just sounds so mellow and balanced and it's just a lovely guitar. And it sits in my room and I write songs on it and I have done that for the last quarter of a century and I will continue to do so. So yeah, lovely guitar. Doesn't have a pickup in it or anything. And, you know, I'm I'm sort of starting to look at doing some more acoustic gigs, which I used to do a long time ago, haven't done for a couple of years, and I haven't got an electroacoustic to do it. You may also have seen my video for my Epiphone Hummingbird, which I no longer have. Um, I sort of fell out of love with it, really. It wasn't really what I wanted. Nice guitar, didn't quite tick all the boxes when I sort of spent some time with it, living with it. So it's gone. It's gone off to to someone else to be loved and played for with by hopefully um so yeah i could get a pickup put into this but i don't want to chop it around really so i thought i would start looking for a new electro acoustic to use didn't want to spend too much money because budgets are tight time is tight you know all the rest of it um, I've been through many electroacoustic guitars in the last few years. I've had a Takamini, which I liked and sold on. I had a, um, a Crafter, which I didn't really like and sold on. I had a Tanglewood a TW122, which I adored. And for some stupid reason, I sold it and regretted it instantly and still regret it now. Um, and I know the girl who sold it to me still, and I've asked her a couple of times if she'd want to sell it back, and she doesn't. So I'll have to wave goodbye to that one. I had another Tanglewood, uh, which I didn't like, which I sold quite quickly. I had another Crafter, which I didn't really like so much. You know, there's a pattern here. I buy guitars, you know, electroacoustic guitars. I like them, and I play them, but then as I live with them, I find that actually they're, they're not really what I'm looking for. They don't feel right. To me, and with an acoustic guitar, it's all about the feel. It's about the ease of playing for me. Um, the sound is not so much a thing because I've never found a plugged in acoustic guitar that sounds good anyway. So I'm sort of, you know, I'm you know, the sound. Yeah, it's got to sound OK, but I'm not massively bothered about the sound or indeed how it looks or about the brand. I'm a complete unbrand snob when it comes to acoustic guitars. It's just all about the feel. It's all about the playability. And it's really important, I think, you know, I've learned this lesson having gone through all these guitars. I've learned the lesson that you've really got to spend time and you've got to go and sit in guitar shops for hours and try everything. And, and unless you're 100% happy, then don't bother, you know, move on. And I spent a good two hours in PMT in Birmingham a few weeks ago trying acoustic guitars and there's two or three that I really liked but I just didn't you know th th there's nothing about them that made me go I need to have this you know this is the ideal guitar for me so I just kept looking and eventually I was working in Nottingham and I popped into um, PMT there first time I've been into PMT in Nottingham and I tried um, this guitar that I'm going to show you now and amongst others on that day but this one really leapt out to me and it, it 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 just sounds it sounds great and it looks nice but it just feels and plays perfectly it's just exactly what i was looking for and i'm really pleased and you know i think i've got something here that i can play for a long time so here it is it's a washburn Never considered Washburn before as a um, acoustic guitar uh, supplier. I've had acoustic, I'm oh, sorry, I've had electric guitars and bass guitars by Washburn, but never an acoustic. This model is a, bear me on this, got to read it out here. It is a WJ7 
S C E A T B M zero. What a mouthful. A W J seven S C E A T B M zero. So that's what it is. Um, but it's beautiful. It's lovely. <laughs> sounds so nice it's it's really new so it hasn't had a chance to age yet and it will sound i mean it sounds great now as time goes on it'll get better and better solid spruce top mahogany back and sides uh pickup tuner all that stuff in there uh which, which is pretty cool um no battery so i took the battery out that's why it done work uh mahogany neck it's got quality tuners close back tuners it's got um nice sort of rosewood bridge and all that it is so light it's really really light it's the lightest guitar to the point that it feels like i'm not even playing one you know but the thing for this that i love the most is the setup it's the playability the neck's beautiful sounds really mellow loud being a you know a jumbo it is loud it's slightly thinner it seems slightly thinner than some jumbos like my old uh, tanglewood but i think I've, i might well have found a guitar to rival that tanglewood the one i loved and lost it's absolutely beautiful Last time I did a video about acoustic guitars, I got comments from people saying, oh, oh you do strum chords, <laughs> which amused me massively. Because yeah, I, I, I am just a strummer. I'm not a, a virtuoso guitar player. I just play my songs. I write my songs and I play them in bars and pubs and I record them at home. And they're sort of vaguely sort of country influenced. And that's all I do, you know, and I don't care what anybody thinks about that really. So um, yeah, if you want to slag me off for just strumming um, open chords in the comments below, then please feel free to do so. Um, I'll think of you whilst I'm playing gigs and getting paid for it. Um, so yeah, so the Washburn, anyway, beautiful guitar and I'm extremely happy with it. And um, I'm going to be doing some gigs with it uh, very soon. Um, I'm even putting together a little acoustic duo. Uh, we're going to do some um, some sort of pubs and coffee stuff and, you know, originals and covers and all that kind of thing. So, yeah, I would fully, if you're after a really nice acoustic and these I don't know, now we're, we're in sort of late September 2019. PMT have been doing these for a really, really good price. They've been like about £100 less than what they are on their website in store. There's, you know, there's a huge discount. They may have gone now because they're obviously trying to get rid of the stock. But if you can find one of these, I really recommend you try it. Washburn, just again, once again, WJ7SCE ATBM0.